Hey guys, this is a pick a card reading. This is What Blessing is Coming Next. Choose from either piles one, two or three. Um, please like, share or subscribe. If you found that this resonates, please let me know down in the comment section. And if you'd like to leave me a donation, um, my donation link will be in the comment section um, and the description box. So this is a group one's next blessing. So for some of you, um, I see the number three. Um, so something may, this blessing may come in on the 3rd of March. Not only that, some of you may be getting a pet rabbit or you might just find a rabbit somewhere um, or a random rabbit might just come up to you. Also, you might be gifted a pack of cards or you might receive a card or someone's birthday may be coming up. Um, I feel like if you have been having energy problems, um, like feeling fatigued and tired, your energy and vitality is going to come back to you. Um, so with the card of judgment, this is a major arcana and judgment card can be about past, present, future and it can be about a rebirth um, and things from the past coming back. But in terms of, I feel like if you have gone through a period where parts of yourself have been lost, those aspects of yourself are going to come back to you now and then you're going to see things um, in a new light, in a new way because we have the light here so something's going to be illuminated to you soon. This blessing that is coming in will be like a rebirth, like phoenix rising kind of energy. Not only that, we have the trumpet. So for some of you, this could be to do with music. Um, a blessing can come through music or through you picking up an instrument Um, also here it reminds me of the sunset so this blessing could happen when we uh, when the sun is setting or when the sun is rising um, but for some of you it could happen on a cloudy day and I, I just keep like with with them like waving here I just feel like you're going to be seeing parts of yourself that you didn't see before to do with your gifts and talents anyway guys um that was your reading uh it's only short today so if you did like this please let me know down in the comment sections if you wish to leave a donation then my donation link will be in the comment section um, and the description and have a beautiful lovely day remember to like share and subscribe and share this with anyone you think that this could help so this is group two's blessing so um i feel like the deer um, maybe your spirit animal so you can look up the shamanic meaning of the deer um, and look at the symbolism of that to find out um, certain things within your life right now and I feel like that will guide you um, I also feel like something that may have scared you in the past you're going to overcome um, because this is the strength card what we see here is Alice and the deer in the woods and she's scared of something but she's got this deer there kind of protecting her and mothering her so your blessing coming in could be a reconnection with the mother or a reconnection uh, with the inner child um, and healing of mother wounds some of you may actually receive a gift off your mother as well some of you may go for a walk in the woods and receive some sort of uh, information in that woods that comes through uh, kind of through the mind through the telepathy through the um, clairaudience some of you, the blessing coming in will be your clear audience will be heightened. So that is the ability to receive information via the ears. Um, that can come through song lyrics coming into your head. Um, just hearing voices in your head, but like, uh, like nice ones kind of thing. Like spirit kind of guiding you or your guides guiding you. Um, you might start to see deers as well, or baby deers, baby fawns. Um, yeah, you're going to be coming in. You're going to be coming into a place of self mastery and feeling a lot better within yourself. Um, I'm also seeing seven seven seven, so pay attention to that number. Um, spirit is guiding you. I'm hearing for this group, uh, and working with the color blue will bring in a lot more blessings, and it will help you with opening up your throat chakra and being able to communicate more efficiently. Um, but I do see you. You're going to become more confident within yourself. Anyway, guys, that is your reading. It's only a short one today. Um, if you did like this, please let me know down in the comments section. If you would like to leave me a donation, um, then my donation link will be in the comments section or the description box. Please like, share and subscribe and share it with anyone you think this could help. And have a beautiful, lovely day, guys. Bye bye. So this is group three. This is the blessing coming in for you. <laughs> Someone might receive a gift of mushrooms. 
um, any kind. It's just like for one of you. Um, with the caterpillar here, I feel like for this group, you may feel like the caterpillar and you're going through stages. You're going through awakening. You're going through different stages. Um, so you start off as a caterpillar, then you go into the chrysalis, 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 where you're in all the goo and you're in all the mush and you're in all the darkness and you've got to fight your way through it to be reborn into this beautiful butterfly. You guys are going through this transformation and you're, I feel like you're going to be coming into this lesson of weighing up your options. You're going to have options and it's up to you to see which path is going to be right for you. But I do see you making the right decision. Um, we also here have the pipe. So if you've been wanting to give up smoking um, or any sort of unhealthy attachments with addictions, I do see you doing that also. Um, I get quite a lot of fairy energy from this group. So working with the fairies and the elementals um, or earth elements is going to be really grounding for this group. So going out into walks in nature, calling on the fairies, lighting a candle for them, gifting them something. Um, maybe you uh, get like a little fairy home where you can paint it with your children and that will just connect you back to the play within yourself. Um, so also with temperance. So it's a major arcana. So you are going to be coming into a place of balance. If you haven't felt balanced in mind, body or spirit, you are going to be feeling a lot more balanced. Um, you're going to come into a state of flow as well. Um, there's a lot of water or energy here as well. So drink more water, um, have more baths. I feel like the new moon or full moon in Pisces which is tomorrow I don't know if it's new moon or full moon that's going to be quite significant for whoever picked this group so pay attention to how you're feeling tomorrow because it's going to be really significant journal down any thoughts or feelings that may comes up uh, good or bad I feel like this is going to be really significant for you guys something may actually happen tomorrow as well um, but it will be a blessing in disguise and I'm hearing um there is a guardian angel around you right now and it's protecting you. So you can call on this guardian angel and who that guardian angel is, that could be a past loved one or that could be an actual angel um, or it actually could be an animal spirit, an animal spirit that's passed. Um, it's going to be different for all of you who that is, but I think you're probably going to realise who it is. You'll probably have signs about it or you've been having dreams about them. Um, but you are protected. Um, and if you need to call for any kind of higher assistance, then please do, because you are you are protected. You have this, um, I, like, I keep seeing like the angels protecting your aura. Like I keep seeing lights on a person, um, like energy being sent to a person um, to protect them. So you are protected. Um, yeah. Also, for some of you, there might be an important little girl around you. So pay attention to anything a little girl may say to you, whether it be, um, your own child or family um, or just a random child on the street just pay attention to any kind of anything that this little girl may say to you uh, this could also be if you're female your inner child um, I'm getting the age seven to ten seven to ten for some they might be six actually and um, someone may receive a new dress also or go shopping and find a really beautiful dress or outfit or a suit for a man. Um, yeah, and working with the colour pink, um, working with some of you might um, start looking into crystals. Rose quartz, I feel, would be really good for this group. Um, and just wearing rose quartz jewellery um, or placing a rose quartz on your heart before meditation or before bed um, and just feel the kind of the release of the heart as the uh, crystal kind of takes any lower vibrational energies or dense energies away and it will help promote um, self-esteem. I feel like this group you are going to be coming into a place of um, self-worth, self-love, self-esteem um, as you come into a place of balance. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave the reading there. It's just a quick one for today. Um, if you did like this, please let me know down in the comment section. Um, if you wish to leave a donation, then my donation link will be down in the comment section or the description box. Please like, share and subscribe um, and have a lovely, beautiful, blessed day. Goodbye.